Welcome back my dear light bulbs to another Boruto video and this one I will be doing a review for chapter 15. Normally I do reactions for the chapters but I already read the chapter so it's no way I'm gonna do a reaction of a chapter I already read. So it's better you know it's been a while since I actually did a regular review anyway so I'm gonna have fun doing this one. So in this chapter we actually learned that Amaro put limiters on the offensive abilities of Kawaki and he adjusts Kawaki's defensive and regenerative ability to above maximum levels, which is every interesting. So basically Kawaki right now, well, not just right now, throughout the series has been nerfed. And that's very interesting because we do know currently that Boruto is stronger than Kawaki. And I literally thought that Boruto was going to tell Kawaki, you got to go train. But that was not the case. Instead, Kawaki, he's just been nerfed and he's just going to probably get those limiters removed, which is completely fine. You know, the thing with Boruto at the moment, my biggest criticism I could say is that a lot of the characters in the series, like the supporting characters, basically, they're they can't do anything in the series and it's very sad in terms of fighting these enemies because it's to a point where these enemies are very overpowered and none of the other students well not students none of the other ninjas that graduated boruto with boruto and everybody can do anything like these are god level characters now and it, it, it pains me because with Naruto she put in, I also felt the same way where later on in the series it got to the point where it's like if it's not Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, or Sakura, like any of those like really top tier characters, like everybody else can't really do much. And you know, Sada that's still there in the midst and stuff. She she's could still do her stuff, which which is good. We saw her against the clone of her father, the Ots uh, not Otsuki, the Tentails clone of her father. So that was actually really nice to see that Sarada still got, got you know, got that power and stuff. So that's really cool. Now, what did I feel about this chapter? So we got the revelation that Ryu is a clone of Shinki. So that was very interesting. There was some speculation that Ryu might be a Naruto clone, but... That would make sense because Naruto is in the other world where Kawaki put him in suspended animation alongside Hinata, which I'm not going to lie. In this chapter, at the very end, when Boruto still, he still calls Kawaki, bro. He says, you better not weigh me down, bro. After everything that happened, after this time skip, after being away from the village training with Kashin Ko well, not not with Kashin Koji, training with Sasuke and a little probably a little bit of training with Kashin Koji. And being ostracized for the village, she's like, Oh, he still sees Kawaki as his bro. He still tells Kawaki if I lose control and Momoshiki takes over, just kill me once again, because that did happen in the past where Boruto Kawaki told Kawaki that. And I like that Boruto, even through everything that has gone on, he literally thinks about others besides himself. Because Kawaki literally asks him, oh, why you haven't told anybody in the village about the truth and stuff? And he says, at least right now, Konoha's functioning normally. That's good enough. So let them persecute me as a rogue ninja. So, and he also says, while some might believe me, there will be others who don't. It'll just create division and confusion. I'd rather avoid that. So Boruto rather the village be in a state, well, you know, I'm not going to say peace because it's not, you know, these invaders and stuff. But in a functioning state, then cause chaos and drift within the village, which shows that he puts others first which is really cool boruto has matured a lot as a character over the years and i'm really happy about it and especially with the time skip he has matured even more right now we got gara in a sealed ju sealing jutsu 
which Shinki used to protect them, which is very interesting. And it cannot be broken unless Shinki is restored. So Gara is literally in there in that jutsu, which is rare. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? It's I feel like they just don't want any of the other Kages really doing much. They're like, oh no, the past Kages and stuff, we don't want them to actually play any big significant role, which is fine. But at this but at the same time, I feel like they don't have to beat the enemy, but they could like aid in battle. But they could like aid in battle and stuff. So I think that would be a good thing to actually see. So now in Boruto, we have Gaara out of commission. We have Shinki out of commission. We have Sasuke out of commission. Naruto Hinata out of commission. And we have some more characters that became trees, but they're still alive. And the funniest thing is you're disrespecting Code. Code literally is getting clowned in this in this series. First it was Boruto. Now it's Jura. It's like nobody's respecting Code. And Code is the reason the Tentails became humanoids in the first place. And they thank him for it. And then he's like, I better get that the the chakra fruit and stuff, right? And then they sent him out on a mission after he leaves. They're like, yeah, you, you you could kill him, Ryu, after, when he comes back. Like, they don't even have any honor amongst themselves. Their whole thing is consuming consumption as the Tentails. Because the Tentails' goal is to become a... The, basically, consume the planet. And once you eat the chakra fruit, you basically get all the information of the planet and stuff. And Jorah says something interesting. He's he's like, what if we ate the chakra fruit? What would happen then? That is actually very interesting. Do I see that happening? No, because then the series would be over. We are 15 chapters into the series. We got a lot of stuff in this chapter, which is cool. My thing is, too, it's like now we can have Code going after Bardo again. And it's just like, Code for me is one of the most is a very disappointing villain to tell you the truth because <laughs> first Boruto clowns him by that I mean like you just oh he could have killed Code but he didn't and it's just like now he's even getting belittled by the creations he made so Code has gets no respect. Even with his limiter, I believe he removed his limiter. It's been a while. We remove like code is just a failed karma. So yeah, that's that. Um, overall, I thought it was a decent chapter. I didn't really see anybody talk about it on Twitter. When I was reading the chapter, I'm like, oh, I almost forgot this came out. And then I'm like, oh wait, what's today's date? And I'm like, oh okay, the chapter came out yesterday. And I'm like, oh, maybe because nothing super hype happened, which nothing really hyped happened. And then we got the end of the chapter. Basically, it looks like Boruto and Kawaki are going to team up to fight against the Divine Tree people. I keep saying Divine Tree. I don't know why. The Tentails people. And it's just like, okay, that's to be expected because Boruto cannot defeat all of these characters on his own. And... Boruto and Kashi and Koji cannot defeat all these characters on their own. We know Amato's agenda is to revive his daughter and stuff. And yeah, overall, I'll give this chapter a 7 out of 10.